My name is Tadas Letinskas. I'm Operational Marketing Manager at Saltonica Networks. I'm with the company for more than three years. But it's a pleasure that I'm not alone on this call, on this webinar. Together with me is Andrei Seregin, a Business Development Manager from Vlog Company. So hello, Andrei. Yeah, hi, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, Andrei will talk about their solution how they achieved you know, this solution with Teltonica Networks devices, sensors, and their uh, cloud platform. So just be patient. Later on, we will show, Andre will show their use case. Uh, there are thousands of devices with Bluetooth connectivity, but probably without the phones, uh, head speakers are the most used devices with Bluetooth connectivity in our daily lives. I was looking for some unique devices with Bluetooth capabilities, and I remembered that before five or even seven years ago, even I was using quite unique device. Well, at that time, I was playing four or five times a week basketball. And, you know, so I had purchased Nikes with Bluetooth sensors inside. At that time, it was very interesting, you know, how high I can jump, how many steps I am making during the trainings, etc. But now I don't want to know. <laughs> but still, Nike is producing such basketball sneakers with Bluetooth connectivity inside. So you could see on your phone the data collected from the sneakers. So you probably could get improved or just have fun and compare with your friends. Globally, there are billions of Bluetooth devices. As you can see from this chart from ABI research, that on 2025, there will be more than 6 billion devices shipped globally. So a massive amount of devices with Bluetooth connectivity are made every year, every day, and will be made even more. At Teltonica Networks, we do have devices with Bluetooth capabilities, routers and sensors. At the moment, there are three routers with Bluetooth capabilities, and there are more than 10 different sensors and beacons in our portfolio. So how do they work? Well, it's quite simple. Our Rootix series devices supports up to 200 Bluetooth sensors at the same time. They are sending information to the Rootix series device, and after that, router sends data to the cloud, in which data is encrypted to understandable content like graphs, charts, etc. There are main two different sensors, BlueCoin and BluePuck. One of the difference is the size between two of them. BlueCoin is a smaller than its bigger brother, but not only uh, size is different. As Puck is bigger, it has a bigger battery. Therefore, its life cycle is up to 20 years and BlueCoin's up to five years. But I should mention that the battery lifetime will decrease dramatically if you configure a sensor to send the data, for example, every second. So keep that in mind. Sensor types we offer, Puck and Coin ID for track and identify equipment. T is for track of temperature. Mac detects opening and closing. Mauve sensors detects movement, RHT tracks temperature and humidity, SlimID beacons is for management of inventory and staff. All these sensors you are able to find on our website. Just click on products and then on accessories. Speaking about radius of different sensors, I should mention that these numbers, which you are seeing on the screens, were achieved in laboratory conditions. I think we all know when you walk with your Bluetooth headphones in the house and after a couple of walls, the connection is interrupted or even lost. So it's the same here. Different objects differently shrink in the radius of the sensors. It can shrink to 10 of meters from our router to the sensor. Or if there is a wall, it can shrink to three or two meters. And if there will be an even a larger wall, or if it's a metallic wall, so Bluetooth connection could just not travel. So different scenarios requires to test everything on field. So I encourage you to do that. So we talked a bit about sensors and beacons, about their purpose. Um, so, now, <clears throat> sorry. so now let's move to one 
use cases with Bluetooth connectivity. <clears throat> so I would like to start with cold chain traceability. It is the key to growing global cold chain market. As the markets are growing rapidly, so technology, solutions, and innovations are working to keep the pace. For example, pharmaceutical industry is worth more than 1 trillion euros, so it requires cold storage and transport to match its development. The necessity of controlled temperature from inception to delivery for many pharma products has contributed largely to growth of the cold chain market. So the companies are always looking for the new ways to improve the quality and make it more efficient. Now, more than ever, companies want to know not only that their products are being maintained in a consistent environment, but they are determined to check uh, where mistakes are made. It's beneficial for them to know which parcels were transported to which location, so they can change in their daily business task. So RUTX11 router is connected to the sensors, which are installed in the pallets or in the parcels. Router is sending the information to the cloud via MQTT or HTTP protocols, the information that a certain box are in the truck. And when they leave it, you can see that a certain location signal was lost. Therefore, you know that those specific sensors were left at specific location because our router has a genius S capabilities. So there is possibility using IoT platforms to get even notifications if there was made a mistake of the driver while unloading certain products. So he could solve that issue in a minimum time. For this use case, we are recommending to use root X11. As root X11, it supports even up to 200 sensors and beacons. The use case I just explained highly scalable as there are thousands of vehicles in logistics and they would need even more sensors. Rutex 11 is a reliable dual SIM 4G LT CAT6 router with GNSS capabilities. It is certified to use in aftermarket vehicles, so it's a perfect choice. An additional value is gained with USB port and dual band Wi-Fi as well as various VPN protocols supported. Moving to other use cases where Bluetooth sensors are used in freezing industry, like in supermarkets, uh, the refrigerators where temperature matters a lot. So how do Bluetooth sensors are helping to solve the issues in retail refrigerator monitoring? As we have been seen before in the logistics, responsibility related to food waste in case of technical failures often falls on manufacturer or integrator of the system. But the biggest challenge is that without remote 24 seven monitoring, it is quite difficult to notice minor problems before they cause real damages. Early detection could usually prevent high losses, but that is difficult to achieve if the refrigerator is stored in a third party establishment and it's only managed by the employees. It also usually means that the system are left unsupervised outside the working hours. So such a simple issue like a door left open could cost thousands of euros in spoilage and lost sales. Any non-conformities from the storage requirements could also catch the attention of food and veterinary services and have long-term effects on the businesses. So to avoid uh, the huge damage that it might cause, we suggest to use Bluetooth sensors. Blue Puck T for temperature, Blue Puck Mac for door sensors. And of course, Route X11 with mobile connectivity or even Route X10 if there is a convenient landline in place. Another use case comes from the warehouse of the logistics where you can check the parcel movement or staff movement. But this case, uh, I would like to invite my colleague with us. He's an engineer at Teltonica Networks. Uh, are you there with us? Hello? Uh, yes, I'm here. Yeah, so please with us explain this solution to our attendees. Um, yes, this solution is quite straightforward. Basically, it's for your equipment or heavy lifting equipment or uh, any other of that kind, especially if you have uh, uh, equipment that has to be operated, uh, let's say, only during your uh, working hours or cannot leave uh, 
the designated areas like warehouse or something like that. Uh, if it's only designated area using Bluecoin ID or Bluepoc ID, depending on, on application, uh, you can simply have one or several routers depending on the area and track current position of the equipment. If it leaves uh, the area, as in previous uh, cases, you would see that the ID that's supposed to be in the location is not there and you get a warning if you configure your solution like that. Uh, of course, there can be used, uh, other sensors can be used like Bluecoin or Bluepuck Mall uh, for uh, equipment that, let's say, should not is not supposed to move after working hours or, or uh, supposed to work only on certain hours because it would give you uh, an indication when the equipment starts suddenly moving in the night, then you would know that something is wrong and you could uh, configure an alarm for that. And well, that would be it for, for this use case. Okay, thank you Vidas for explanation. And I encourage you, you know, to write uh, questions to your Q&A session. I see that some of you are writing. Please don't write questions to the chat because we would like to answer those in Q&A session if, and if we, you know, shorten time that we don't uh, save, you know, chat information. So please repeat your questions which you wrote in chat in the Q&A session. And we have Vidas, who is our support engineer, and he's working directly with all these cases who concerns, you know, sensors and beacons in our company. So thank you, Vidas, again. Moving on to the use cases, I would like to move to the business case of construction site monitoring. Construction companies usually don't know where their next construction site will be. Therefore, they need to easily and fast change their location. As internet connectivity is a must, they have to have mobile routers, which can provide stable internet connectivity anywhere in the country. Moreover, a construction site theft is a low risk, high opportunity activity for thieves, which can have a severe impact on operational costs with estimated annual value of stolen construction items. So, ID coins or ID puck sensors can be used for inventory. CCTV cameras are widely used to determine criminal activity and thefts and help recover lost equipment. Therefore, Rutex 12 industrial cellular router with two separate mobile modems is ideal device as two mobile operators can work at the same time. Zero downtime and capabilities of Bluetooth connection allow companies to monitor their equipment and prevent thefts, as well as it can help to monitor when workers come and leave the construction site with the help of slim ID beacons. All our routers are compatible with to withstand harsh environments, you know, and are capable to keep working when there is minus 40 or plus 75 degrees of Celsius. Vending machines are very popular, but in recent years, they are continue growing rapidly. Because the market is so big and after global pandemic, vending machines are needed more and more. Many companies are focusing on installing and maintaining vending machines. These operations require many different employees, starting from engineers who will program the vending machine or personnel who will refill goods, beverages or food if it runs out. So for this purpose, Rutex 11 with Bluetooth sensors plays a significant role of cutting the expenses for maintaining the vending machines. And talking about vaccines and vaccinization, I would like to share a topology for mobile immunization units. As hospitals are still incredibly busy due to this global situation, we believe that mobile vaccinating units could solve and already are solving a lot of issues. And it would speed up the immunization process. The principle is very similar to the drive through testing posts. The unit can be quickly set up almost anywhere, even in rural areas, and it requires very low resources on staff. The process is quite simple. First, the thermal camera measures the temperature of the patient. Given they do not have a fever, the medical staff can proceed with the vaccination and update their medical file using the network connection provided by our Root X11. This device is perfect for the solution as it provides wired and, wi and Wi-Fi connectivity for equipment inside the unit, 
but it also offers dual SIM functionality for network redundancy. Essentially, using the LTE network makes uh, this solution very mobile, quick to deploy, and incredibly reliable. As the vaccines have to be stored in fridges and the temperature has to be maintained at all times, sensors are connected to the router. Then the router sends this data to the IoT platform by using MQTT protocol so that you could be notified if there is something wrong with the temperature or even with the whole solution. Lastly, it is a highly secure device. Our devices have been implemented in other security sensitive areas like financial sector, government sector, or even armed forces. Moreover, solution provider could configure highly secure VPN channels with headquarters so that data of the patients would not be compromised. And now I would like to, sh to share my stage with Andre and I would like to that he represent his uh, use case or VLOG use case. So Andre, please take it over. Okay, so I will tell you about our product VLOG and our cooperation with Teltonica Networks. So uh, VLOG is AI powered uh, asset logistics and yacht management solution, which allows you very easily create a digital twin of your yard facility, sorry, yeah, facility and, uh, and start managing your assets efficiently. So by easily, I mean, you don't have to deploy any infrastructure on site. You don't have uh, to go through loan implementation process. Why such solution is needed? So imagine if you have 10,000 cars on your storage yard and every day you have to pick uh, different 700 cars of different specifications, combine them and ship to, to 30 different destinations. So, uh, so you, you have, and of course you cannot do it cost efficiently. You don't know your bottlenecks and, and what needs to be improved. So if you rely to only manual processes. Uh, there are a number of uh, there are a number of components in our system. We attach a small BLE beacon to every asset. We use smartphones and Teltonica networks routers to read beacon signals, collect sensory data, and send them to cloud where all the intelligence happens. Uh, thanks to this technology, we are able to track employees and assets location trace interactions between employees and assets, easily integrate into existing business processes and provide data and analytics to customers. Vlog started as a finished vehicle logistics solution, but proved to work very well with any kind of bulky assets. It can be, it can be uh, drums, cable drums, wood, metal, other materials, piles, trailers, etc. At Willock, at Willock, we focus on simplicity and efficiency. Uh, we don't require infrastructure deployment on site. Uh, Willock integrates in existing business processes and adds additional data to make them more efficient. There is no need for extensive training. Solution is very easy to use. There are no physical site requirements like reorganization of the facility, area naming, floor markings, Onboarding is rapid. Once you receive hardware, you can immediately start using VLOG. And as we know, location of employees and assets, we can allocate tasks to people closest to assets you need to process at that moment. On this slide, you can see how simple to associate a beacon to any type of asset. So you just scan a beacon QR code, you scan a VIN barcode or serial number, and you attach this beacon to an asset. To allow for even better coverage and more consistent way of reading beacon signals, collecting sensory data, and sending them to cloud, we rely on mobile phones, which employees carry with them, and we install Teltonica networks, routers on utility vehicles, or at some fixed locations, like gates, for example. Give log features, of course, uh, accurate positioning and tracking across facilities, real-time data collection, which happens in the background, visual overview of the entire yard, 
On top, we provide inventory and employee related analytics. Web and mobile access are available for ease of use, and we support integrations with any back office systems. Uh, our advantages are low investments and operational costs, which is very important, hassle free implementation, scalability. You can start test with several beacons and end up with thousands of assets connected to the system. You can use any parking or open load without any modifications and having data and insights in place, you can understand your bottlenecks and significantly optimize your operation. A case study of one of our customers, Kia Israel, uh, they have 10,000 cars on two parking lots, indoor and outdoor. They have quite complex pipeline with multiple vehicle processing stations across both parking lots. They move up to 700 vehicles daily, and uh, each vehicle can sit uh, from several days to up a year in the compound. Uh, they have dedicated personnel for locating cars. They implemented VLOG at three steps, uh, started from small pilots and scaled up gradually, finally covered all vehicle stock. Thanks to VLOG, Kia Israel significantly optimized their operations. That's it. Thank you for your attention. And if you have questions or requests, please reach out to us. Uh, yeah, and I see some questions about about Vlog uh, solutions. So uh, later after the webinar on Q and A session, we will hi highlight a couple of them, as I mentioned. So if you have more questions, please uh, write them in Q and A session and. So thank you again, Andre, for presentation of your solution, how VLOG and Teltonica routers are helping. Uh, so as he explained in detail their solution, I would like to share the topology with cable drum storage management. The principle is the same as the art logistics, uh, which is Andre showed. Uh, so this topology and use case written with all the benefits we are able to find now on our website next to the use cases. It's freshly added only today. It is added as it is the newest one. It will be on top of if you click on all industries and all use cases. There will you find also a PDF file which you can easily send to your potential customers even. So there was also questions where we can find those topologies on this presentation. So please write to your sales manager or write to us uh, on contact us form on our webpage or on social media. As you have seen all use cases with Bluetooth connectivity, we encourage you to test our routers, root X10, root X11 and root X12, which of course are compatible with Bluetooth. Three similar and quite different products. So before moving to the comparison of these three devices, I would like to highlight that when you purchase our standard product package, you will get all the antennas, Bluetooth, GNSS, mobile, and Wi-Fi antennas, power supply unit, Ethernet cable, and Quickstar guide. So everything you get is inside the box. So ready, straight away out of the box. So of course, uh, those three mentioned routers are with Bluetooth capabilities. Root Extend uh, doesn't have a mobile module as it is Ethernet and wireless router. Root X11 4G LT CAT6 router with dual SIM functionality and our one and only router with two mobile modems, Root X12, so that two SIM cards could work simultaneously at the same time. They all have gigabit Ethernet ports, same RAM and flash memory as well as they have all dual Wi-Fi, USB, and they all support multiple VPN protocols and many more other features, which you could easily check on our website and make comparison feature not only of these free products, but all our products. So to summarize this webinar, I would like to say that with routers, sensors, and AI-powered cloud, there is a vast different solutions. And the only 
lack of immunization could stop you, you know. We, as Teltonica Networks, manufacturer of IoT devices, appreciate such partners as VLOG who are making such solution possible. And thank you again, Andre and his team. So as I mentioned, connect us with uh, us in various social networks like LinkedIn, Twitter. Later on, we will add recording of this webinar on, on, <clears throat> sorry, on our YouTube channel, on our website with questions answered. We are adding a lot of useful information on our social media, like new use cases, real photos from the field of installations of customers around the world. So hit subscribe button, uh, check us on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on YouTube. And now I would ask, <clears throat> sorry, ask Maris to join in. And I see that there are a lot of questions. Am I right, Maris? Yes, indeed, indeed. And I know that uh, Vidas in the background is trying to do his best to answer um, all of them, which, which is, I think, um, quite, quite difficult to achieve. So um, first, I would like to thank, you know, you and, and Sergey and Vidas for really exciting webinar. And, you know, according to the amount of questions that we get, it, it seems that it's a topic very uh, actual, very interesting for the market right now. We saw that with the amount of registrants uh, to this webinar as well. And um, just a few questions perhaps revolving around VLOG solution because um, the ones revolving around our product and, and, and our um, hardware, we will perhaps uh, answer after the webinar to, to save everybody's time. So a uh, question to VLOG. Um, how many routers beacons did you use in the Kia example? In, in Kia, we have around 10,000 beacons and uh, we, we use uh, around three routers mm -hmm. just to install them in some fixed locations. Okay, and there was also a similar question. How do you determine if the parking place has changed? Do you have to scan it again or a router gets the position from the Bluetooth signal? Yes, yes. So uh, you don't have to do anything. So uh, data collection and signals collection happens in the background through Teltonica Networks routers or via smartphones that employees carry with them all the time. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sergey. Let me just quickly check if there were more questions for VLOG that we have yet to answer. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, an anonymous attendee is, is inquiring. I would like to hear the main advantages of VLOG solution, which you know, to some extent were presented, of course. Uh, what kind of Bluetooth sensors are you putting to the cars? Movement or, or which kind of type sensors? And, and what kind of data are you collecting? What kind of, you know, Things are you tracking in cloud to save employees time? That that's how the whole question sounds. Yeah, we use uh, off off the shelf iBeacons, so you can buy them from many vendors. So uh, this beacon only sends it, its ID, no other information. So that's why these beacons are quite cheap. So we uh, we add sensory data from smartphones or routers and send them to cloud to process. And the main advantage of VLOG is that we do not require deployment of any infrastructure, any expensive infrastructure on site. So you just, uh, you can transform any flat area, area into a digital twin, uh, into digital parking lot with uh, all the information available to you at every point of time. And I think that's really quite impactful because um, not, not, not many of us consider usually when talking about a project, the amount of time that is going to be needed to, to actually you know, adapt the infrastructure to the ideas that you have. And, and obviously having cellular connectivity routers, having um, very easy to install Bluetooth sensors and beacons, you can do these deployments real quick and, and you know, make the time of your investment recuperation closer to, um, you know, rather than, than, than taking care of uh, cable connection, having to do infrastructure changes and, and lay down cables across the whole parking lot in, in, in such example. Um, let me just take a look. Um, 
in the vlog use case, can I find it on uh, your website use cases? So that is correct me if I'm wrong, but I think uh, just recently we've uploaded um, the vlog use case with cable drums, right? Uh, yes, uh, I think it now is on online already. So you can check on the, the link. I, I see that you Marius wrote uh, at Altonica Networks Industries use cases. Mm -hmm. So there you will find uh, a PDF written in details, all the benefits uh, with the cable drums, as you explained, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms uh, of uh, another use case with the parking lot, it is yet to be you know, developed in the format that we publish on our website and it's going to be um, available quite soon. Yeah, and attendees also can check, you know, our uh, partners, IoT platform partners. They also, you can find, you know, Vlog uh, logo, click on the, uh, on the logo and you will be directed to their website, you know, and contact mm -hmm. Andre maybe. <laughs> yeah. Saltonica Networks, so. One um, very good uh, commentary from Mr. Silvio um, uh, was that blue buck type temperature ranges between minus 40 and plus 85 degrees. So they cannot be used in Pfizer vaccine refrigerators. And that's, that's exactly the truth. However, in our product range, I'm just not quite sure if we managed to include it in our accessories yet. We have um, another, like a brother of this uh, sensor that's able to um, uh, measure much wider temperature ranges, much more extreme uh, with an additional probe. So Tadas, perhaps you have in hand the temperature ranges that uh, this uh, sensor is capable uh, with? Uh, well, I need to check, but uh, I think it's from minus 80 to plus... Plus 200 Celsius, 200, yes, if, if I, I remember. remember correctly. So, yeah. you know, much wider temperature ranges compatible uh, for exactly this solution. Oh, so many, so many really great questions. So. Um, it's, it's just difficult to pick. Um, available for dash cam implementations. Can somebody show how to configure Bluetooth sensors in the RET X series? Now, I think I might be able to find a wiki link for you and post it in as an answer to this, uh, to this question, uh, just to save everybody else's time. So I'll do that in a minute. Yeah, please um, Marius, select the question. Uh, so I will highlight, you know, that we list all those answers questions on our website. So with the links and, you know, how to configure uh, beacons and sensors, there is a video, there is a wiki article. So everything will be posted on our website next to the resources, mm -hmm. uh, past webinars. So please come visit and check all those answers questions. Um, while I... Uh... While I look uh, for this uh, this configuration guide on the wiki, perhaps Tadas, you could expand on an additional question. So, for retail refrigerator that uses door sensors and temperature sensors, are these sensors available from Teltonica, or are they third-party products? Yes, you can um, contact our sales guide, and we can provide everything. You know, as I mentioned, uh, routers, of course, Rutex 11 or Rutex 12 or Rutex 10 and all the sensors we also can provide. So please contact your sales manager. If you don't have such sales manager, please write to, to contact us form. And you know, somebody definitely will contact you. Just type in the correct number, of course, email, etc. So everything Teltonica Networks can provide for you for this solution to be, you know, working. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I wanted to mention in, in, in this particular case as well is that, um, the, those of you who work with, with Teltonica Networks for, for just recently or for a considerable amount of time know that um, we never position ourselves as a full solution provider. You know, we try to keep doing uh, what we do best is just provide excellent industrial and professional networking, um, uh, let's say, hardware together with uh, our remote management system and, you know, ecosystem supporting accessories. So uh, if you need that sort of stuff and you have, you know, the engineering capabilities or perhaps third party platforms for you to help complete a solution, that's fine. But at the same time, if you lack, you know, just uh, uh, 
um, perhaps an engineering resource or time to look for one, and you want to, you know, dive into Bluetooth solutions, it's um, a very good idea to get in touch with uh, Andre, to get in touch with Vlog that can help you on the platform side of things, right? So together joining our forces, we might be able to, you know, offer you the full solution, although, you know, you, you'll have to um, work with, with two different teams taking care of, of two different sites. So hardware sites on Teltonica networks and, and perhaps the cloud platform sites on, on, on Vlogs, on Andres, um, with Andres team. Um, I'm just going to find that link of configuring Bluetooth sensors with the RETX series later and, and then post it together with other answered questions. And um, there was a question, if I install a temperature sensor inside the refrigerator, will the sensor still be able to communicate with the router? Um, They're usually metal refrigerators. So short answer is yes, but the testing is going to answer uh, a lot of questions in terms of distance, because obviously every obstacle that you put in between, a, um, let's say, uh, a sensor and, and the router is going to, you know, reduce the, 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 um, the distance uh, compatible quite dramatically. You know, worst case scenario, you can just put the same router in the refri refrigerator. Our routers work minus 40 degrees, so uh, that's 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 going to be fine. Coming from uh, quite cold winters, we've we made sure to adapt our products to even the coldest winters and then hottest summer conditions. So that's you know one of the um, features that our our clients across the world uh, mention quite a lot. What do you think, Tadas? Um, we could answer the questions until the end of time here because I see our audience is very engaged and very active, but perhaps we should uh, wrap everything up and just come back with all the answered questions and the recording in, in, in the coming days. Yeah, I, I think so too, because we have more like 20 questions, more in, in general, like 40 questions. So <laughs> it will take more one hour, you know, just discuss all the questions. And I, I see that attendees are leaving. So uh, please visit our website in a couple of days. We will be adding the recording and all your questions asked uh, will be answered because Vidas, I see, is typing a lot and answering now all the questions. So keep in mind, visit our webpage. And thank you again, Andre, to join this uh, presentation and showing the how we log, you know, and Teltonica Networks devices and sensors. Uh, thank without, you. you know, drastic investment can solve a lot of you know difficult situations so thank you Brilliant. guys yeah and thanks everybody <laughs> bye 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 bye, bye. bye.